most people, in a time of struggling, in a time of despair, or in seasons of trial, they will ask God to rescue them. They'll ask Him to deliver them. But tell me what happens when you ask God to take this problem or situation away, and He doesn't. What happens when you've told the mountain to move, and it does not move? What now? Well, I'd like to submit to you that during those times when trouble just won't go away and when the rain just does not stop, your prayer should actually be, God, go with me through this storm. Lord, give me the power to face this problem. Look at the three Hebrew boys who were thrown into a fiery furnace. God didn't deliver them from being thrown in the fire, but instead, God was in the fire with them. You see, God didn't deliver Daniel from being thrown in the lion's den. God was right there with him. In all these situations, God was in the storm, he was in the fire, he was right there in the problem with them. Psalm 23 verse 4 says, Even though I walk, Through the valley of the shadow of death, even though I walk through, take note of that, even though I walk through. This isn't a case of saying, God, don't let me walk through the valley of the shadow of death, or God, save me from the valley of the shadow of death. No, it's saying, but even though. I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The key part is for you are with me. And I want you to know that God is with you. God is with you in the fire. The Lord is with you in the deep waters. He is with you during the test and during the battle. So should you find yourself in hardship, remember that God is with you. Should you find yourself in the middle of a spiritual battle, God is still with you. So when the mountain won't move, pray for the strength to climb that mountain. When the giant won't move, pray for the power to defeat that giant. When your burdens become too big, Then cast your burdens on the Lord. When we are drowning in sorrow and there looks to be no way out, pray for the God of the ages to make possible what is impossible to man. God is with you. If you're in a fight at this moment in time, if you're in a battle, God is with you. And that battle, it belongs to God. Let him fight for you. The only way you'll be able to withstand the fiery furnace, the only way you'll be able to survive the lion's den, is if you come to the understanding that you need to fully surrender. Yes, surrender to Jesus and pray this. God, if this trial won't go away, then face this trial with me. If I must go through this fire, Father, then go through this fire with me. Be with me, Lord. And should you do this, then God will provide you with the grace to overcome and the strength to withstand. Now, let us pray. Father God, I praise you. I say that you alone deserve to be honored and reverenced. I pray, Lord, that you would give me the strength to stand strong. Even if I'm going through difficult circumstances, help me, Lord. Help me to make the right decisions. Help me to decide to fully trust in you. Help me, Lord, to stand up in full trust and confidence that you will make a way for me 
where there seems to be no way. And even when I'm going through a tough time, I will still decide to worship you, Lord Jesus. Even if I should find myself under pressure, give me the strength, Lord, to still sing praises to your name and to still declare that you are good. God, I thank you for giving me strength. Psalm 59 verse 16 says, But I will sing of your strength. I will sing aloud of your steadfast love in the morning. For you have been to me a fortress and a refuge in the day of my distress. Indeed, Father, I will sing of your strength. I will sing of your steadfast love. I will glorify your name and sing that you have been my fortress in times of distress. And I thank you, Lord. You alone are worthy of all my honor and you alone are worthy of all my praise. Lord Jesus, creation sings with joy at the sound of your name. The devil is defeated at the name of Jesus. Walls and barriers come down when we speak your name, God. Not only will every knee bow and every tongue confess that you are Lord, but every problem and every stronghold, every force of darkness will be defeated at the sound of the name of Jesus Christ. There is no power greater than you, Lord. Nothing and no one can stand against you, God. Father, please help me to have complete trust, complete reliance in your power. Father, I believe that you will give me a breakthrough in situations where I cannot find a solution. You have indeed promised that those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. And so I declare that I lack nothing in my life. There is no physical lack, no emotional lack, no spiritual lack. At your name, mountains move, obstacles are destroyed, and demons tremble. At your name, Lord Jesus, storms become calm, darkness becomes light, and despair turns into hope. I pray that worry, anxiety, and fear will have no influence over my life. Nothing that is from the devil can overwhelm me in Jesus' name. It's you, Lord, who give me peace that surpasses all human understanding or comprehension. You, Lord, enable me to live victoriously in a world full of chaos and madness. I pray that you would help me to be fixated on the things above and not on the things on this earth. Help me to keep my focus on you, to remain devoted to you, to remain rooted and anchored in faith to you. My heart will not be a fearful heart because my trust and protection is found in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I am confident because you, Lord, have told me in your word saying, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Empower me, Lord Jesus, to stand strong and hold on to your word. In Psalm 118, verses 6 to 7, which says, The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do to me? The Lord is for me among those who help me. Therefore, I shall see my desire on those who hate me. Be blessed and glorified, O King Jesus. Lead me in your truth and in your wisdom. Lord, I thank you for hearing my prayer. In the mighty and matchless name, Of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen.